Welcome to another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. This time around I'll be reviewing Carlsberg Export, 5% alcohol by volume, brewed and canned in the EU under the supervision of Carlsberg Breweries in Copenhagen, Denmark. What more can I tell you about Carlsberg Export? Well, uh, until uh, only recently I'd never tried it. Uh, at the moment uh, they've got it on special at uh, first choice. So I thought I'd uh, yeah, pick it up and uh, check it out, see what it's like. Uh, it's a Carlsberg variant that I've uh, you know, never, well, had never tried before. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Anyway, enough with the rambling. I think it's time that uh, we crack this open and make an assessment of it. All right. And I shall uh, pour it out to a nice ice-cold pint glass. Okay. There we go, a nice pour there. Alright, so, let's make an assessment uh, of the appearance. Alright, well, the appearance is a very, uh, yeah, pale, golden colour, very transparent. It's very carbonated. Got just a little over a finger of head there. It's a ni nice, uh, white, uh, you know, frothy head. Let's uh, make an assessment uh, of the aroma. Hmm. Not really detecting much there. Um, you know, some grains, some hops, but yeah, the smell is very faint. Now, uh, onto the taste test, the most important part of the review. Cheers to you all. Hmm. Well, your taste is your, you know, your standard, um, you know, Euro pale lager, you know, taste. It's pretty satisfying, you know. No disappointments really. Um, you know, one thing it's got going for it's not, you know, watery. Um, it definitely has that, you know, sweet, multi flavour. Um, a real minimal amount of bitterness. Um, you know, very crisp, very clean, very refreshing. Um, yeah, the finish is relatively dry. Uh, but on that note, I do need to go more of this. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's a little bit of cit citrus present there as well. Um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, definitely um, yeah, an excellent thirst quencher. Uh, you know, particularly now um, in the Aussie summer. Um, yeah, you've got to, well, if uh, you know, you're talking about this beer in terms of drinkability, it's, uh, you know, one that will uh, obviously rate quite highly. It's, uh, yeah, without a doubt, a very good session beer. Um, yeah, I, I can't really fault it flavour-wise. I mean, it's uh, in no way extraordinary. Um, but, you know, it's... Uh, that's a little bit better than, uh, you know, a lot of other lagers I could uh, mention. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's uh, one worth checking out, uh, particularly, uh, you know, if you're looking for, uh, you know, something that's going to quench your thirst on a, you know, hot summer's day. Um, yeah, this is certainly a good candidate. Anyway, um, what would I give it in terms of a score out of 10? Well, I shall have another gulp and uh, make a decision. Hmm. Quite refreshing. Anyway, I think uh, it's a solid 8 out of 10, this beer. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. Anyway, that does bring us to the end of yet another Swill and Grog beer review. So, until next time, cheers to you all.